Hi, my name is Lexi and I am the current assistant coordinator for SPU's Community Kitchen and this month's theme is In Love with Chocolate. I will be showing you how to make butternut squash enchiladas with quick mole sauce. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our butternut squash and put it on a pan. This is one small butternut squash pre-prepared, seeded and cubed. And then we're going to take some olive oil and we're going to drizzle it on top. We're now going to take the butternut squash that we covered in oil and put it in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. What we're going to do now is prepare our sauce. So in the blender already I have 15 ounces of canned tomato sauce, just plain tomatoes. We're going to add four cloves of garlic, a half of an onion, roughly chopped, and then we're going to add two, you can do two to three chilies in adobo sauce, and then two extra tablespoons of adobo sauce. So here's mine. And then we have one tablespoon of soy sauce. And for our spices, we have two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of ground coriander, and we have half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Now that we have it all in there, we're going to go ahead and blend it. We're also going to add half a cup of water. And go ahead and mix again. What we're going to do now is take a pot that's on medium high heat. We're going to dump in our sauce. So we're going to bring this to a simmer and you need to make sure you cover it because it's going to splatter. Now what we're going to do is add in our four ounces of dark chocolate and two tablespoons of peanut butter and we're going to stir this in until smooth. What I want to do now is go ahead and take a quick little taste and what you can do now is adjust the sweetness. Um, if you want it a little bit sweeter to help balance out the spice, you can add in some honey or some maple. Or if you want it a little more salty, feel free to add some more salt. Just This is the point where you're going to go ahead and adjust it before we put together the enchiladas. So what I've gone ahead and done is put in part of the mole sauce at the bottom of my pan. It's going to give it a nice coating underneath the enchiladas and help seal the seams together. Now let's put together our corn shells. In a pan, heat up your yellow corn tortillas so they become nice and pliable. So now we're going to assemble our enchiladas. You're going to take a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of the butternut squash. You're going to add a fourth of a cup of black beans. And you're going to add two tablespoons of queso fresco. Two. And then you're just going to roll them. You don't have to do the little fold at the end. And you're going to place them in the pan. Okay, so now that we've prepared all of the enchiladas, we're going to take the rest of the mole and cover them. You can leave some excess mole on the side so you can fix anything later or add more if you like at the end. Now we're going to cover this and bake it at 375 degrees for 20 minutes. So once you pull it out of the oven, you can go ahead and add whatever toppings you want. I chose sour cream and cilantro. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today for February's theme, In Love With Chocolate, and I hope you follow us on our social media and follow our blog. Um, thank you.